We're going to talk about the ability to make your cotton in your drippers last longer. And this term, cycling your cotton, probably isn't something that a lot of people are going to be real familiar with. But I wanted to get to what is cycling your cotton? Why should you be doing it in your RDA dripping atomizers? And how it makes both your cotton and your coils last just a whole lot longer in between rewicks. And it's also kind of a helpful little thing if you ever want to like uh, swap out your liquid flavor without having to rewick wick, this can be helpful in sort of uh, aiding that. So I'm just going to demonstrate what cycling your cotton actually looks like. So the idea of cycling your cotton is to vape your cotton in your RDA as dry as you possibly can. Let me just show you what I mean here. I got my Kennedy the Constant Contact Ruby Mod 2 post right here. That's an M-Turk alien build in there and it's wicked up and those cottons that are in there are pretty saturated with liquid and I'm just going to go ahead and saturate them just a little bit more with liquid so we have like a definitive jumping off point. We have a very, very saturated, saturated RDA right here. If I press the button, oh boosh, you're gonna see vapors kinda happening all over the place. Now, cycling your cotton, vaping your cotton until it's dry easier to do in some RDAs than other RDAs. What you want is an RDA that directs the airflow directly to the center of your coil. There's a lot of RDAs out there to do that do that and even some that don't, you can sometimes reposition your airflow to be to be flowing directly at the center of your coils. And the reason that we want our airflow pointing directly at the center of the coils, what that's going to do is help cool down your coil and allow this sort of cycling to happen. It's much easier to demonstrate than it is to explain. So as you saw, I dripped liquid all over this cotton, all over these coils, and what I'm gonna to attempt to do now is just vape it dry. So, as you saw right there, roughly like five real big lungy sort of cloud chasey hits, and now, when we go down and we look at this Kennedy and we pop this top cap off here in just a second, and we pop this top cap off of here on this Kennedy, I want you to look at the wicks. They are very, very dry. Not like 100% dry, but quite, quite dry. In fact, with how dry these are, I think I could still get one more pretty good rip off of this. Yeah, not bad. Let's take a look at them now. Yeah, I mean, basically, basically dry. There's no liquid down in the liquid well there, in the juice well. The cotton itself is looking nice and white and dry. It's kind of dry to the touch. It just looks nice and white. And what this does, what this accomplishes by vaping all of the liquid out of your cotton and coils is your coils are going to last longer. Your cotton is going to last so much longer. When cotton sits in that like soup of liquid, this is what sometimes happens in RTAs as well, but when it's just sitting in that soup of liquid, your cotton does break down. It has the tendency to break down. It can lead to things like dry hits, burnt hits, uh, coil collapse, not coil collapse, cotton collapse in the middle of your coil. That's when your cotton just burns down in the center, but you can't physically see it, so you assume your cotton is fine and you keep vaping it, but you keep getting burnt hits. That's cotton collapse, and this helps prevent cotton collapse. This helps maintain the integrity of your cotton. It's, it's just going to last longer when you vape using this method. 